Today, I'll be showing you how to make witches' bells. Now, don't get the name wrong. It's not for witches, especially the, the evil ones. Good witches, I don't care, but uh, anyway, I'm using twine. Three millimeters wide is what I got there. I'm using uh, Using bells. I had a bag of about ten to twelve, I think, in there. I used um, gold metallic aluminum wire aluminum number I got some of these uh, hmm. leaves I mean uh, some of these feathers metal I got some lucky Chinese coins which I uh, threaded through that hole. I've got uh, some pentacles. There we go, some pentacles. There's some more feathers. Got a lot of these metal feathers. I also have Those are the quirks, but I have a whole packet of these tiny little bottles that I put holy water in and then put the cork lid on them and seal them up. I'm adding uh, crystals various ones. Oh, there's some gold ones. Or copper, bronze. More like bronze. I had a bunch of these little bowls. Like that one too. In different colors. The two that's left is kind of greenish. I've used, uh, I guess I had five to begin with of these, but, um, yeah, there's some more of my Chinese coins, lucky Chinese coins. I think I even used uh, a key, a nature key in there. And, uh, I started with one of these bowls flipped upside down. Let me dump these in here to show you. Yeah, these are little succulent pots. That's their purpose. They got a hole in the middle. And what I did was flip them upside down strung my cord through there and tied it at the end. But, and that's where my video picks up. So we'll take it from there. Okay, here's where I've gotten so far. I finally found the end to the cord. <laughs> which took a little while. And what I did then was I got one of my bowls and push this twine 
through to the end. And here at the end, I am praying. Is that better? I'm praying this knot out. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to do a little arson. All right, so I cut a a rather long piece of rope for this twine, I should say. It's almost rope. Um, and uh, I'm going to need something longer. This will probably be too much, but I will need something longer because I'm going to do some things here. You'll see. All right, I'm going to try this again. I started out this morning with this and that's all the further I got this is evening now it got so hot and humid out here I could not take it hey baby hey baby there she is yes yes oops there she is my big baby boy she is getting big Yes, she is. She's a camera hog. <laughs> but she's learning. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Um, I removed one of those bells off of the piece of twine. It came on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this directly to directly to I have a mess here let me clean some of this stuff off before I go any further than me um, I'm gonna do several things I'm gonna take this twine and cut it up and stick some jewels on the end so they'll come down and hit the vase I'll take uh, maybe like red ones and I want them to come down and kind of tap the vase hopefully it won't sound so bloody <laughs> let me get to working on that and see what I come up with alright here I am trying it again it's uh as you can see up on the clock up there, it's almost 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> and I'm out here, it's late, it's dark, but it's quiet. And it's cool. So, I'm going to try working on this again, again. Am I procrastinating? Probably. Anyway. I tied two of these crystals to a rope which I was going to fasten to this rope. But I'm not quite happy with that. So instead... I have a packet of uh, this gold aluminum craft wire and I think I'm going to put that around and let that hit my my flower pot at the bottom right there so um, let me open this up and see what I got Now that's recording. Even at 1.30 a.m. I'm still drinking my coffee. Okay, I cut myself a piece of wire. Nothing too big. I'm going to take my crystals. 
Got one on one end. Wrap it in there, good. Let it hang down a little bit. Then what I'm gonna do is then take my metal and work a hole in it a couple inches up which is not as easy as I thought it would be. There we go. Now, as I got it where I want it, Still have room. For my uh, crystals to hang down. I'm going to wrap that around. A few times. If you can see what I'm doing here. Over here, put it, oops, I'll put my other crystal to hang down. And the end on that too. I'm gonna wrap around. I know you probably can't see from my big fingers being in the way, but uh, okay. There is what we have. Just want to make some noise when it gets jingled. Next up, you find the end way up here. And my first bells going in. This I want to tie. Right about there. Since it's so laid out, I'm trying not to make too much noise with these bells. Now I'm going to do some ones hanging down lower. This is what I have 
so far. Oops. I have this. The knee's hanging down off of that bowl. Tomorrow, I'll add on some more. I haven't been out here that long, but um, it's late. I'm getting tired. And I just wanted to feel like I got something accomplished today. So, um, I don't know. Good night. And I'll be back to work on these, hopefully tomorrow. All right, back out here this morning, and you can see it's a quarter till 9 a.m. I'm getting out here while it's still cool and uh, isn't uh, too hot to do any work. That was my problem yesterday. I don't really have a nice workspace inside. I guess I could try to find one, but uh, I'll just work out here. Anyway, let me show you, um, see if I can just set this on and let it go, um, as I'm working. Just simple flashback, I, this is what I have done so far. I have those crystals that whenever it's broken good, that should drop. Anyway, then I tied this bell into it. My next move is to tie more bells, like probably two more, up above, so that they're all not together. Anymore. So let me get a rag on it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hey, hey. Settle down. Settle down. Jeez. Someone just came out for this morning, for a second time this morning. Oh. But yeah, I was thinking about tying them up here. Easy there, pups. Right out there. Okay, what I'm doing is I got another piece of my gold aluminum stuff here. And I want to get these both together at the same time. And find out where they meet. Oh. And where they'll hit each other. Right about there looks pretty good. Now I'm going to run this wire through each one, or maybe I should just wrap them all. Maybe I'll try that. It would have been better if I had run them all through each piece. But I'll see how well this holds up. It might not sound purdy, but watch what I have planned for it. I put another bowl, once again, upside down. Yep.
Okay. This is what I have so far. Okay. I can't see what you're seeing, so there. Now above this, I'm going to take some of my I Ching coins. Take one, like right here. And this is what I should have done for the bottom one, too. But uh, I'm inserting them through the center of the coin. It has that square there. I'm inserting the far end of the line in through there, running it down so it fits nice and neat. Let me show you. You see here it fits right down to cover that top a bit. I should have put one on this one too. But I'm too far along and everything. I'll probably make another one of these so uh, after this. So maybe I'll do it on that one. Okay, I've got all these little things to put in there. But right now, I have several things of these leaves. But my holes are really small, so... Hmm. I have to figure out something for that. And uh, here's a little added protection against evil I got some holy water and I put it in this little vial that I'm gonna fasten to my bells just double protection we found another treat that uh, Callie's never had before and I know it's candy and you shouldn't give dogs candy but it's just a little bit it's a uh, Reese's Pieces. I know it's upside down. Now, here. There you go. And watch how much she loves this. She likes playing with it. <laughs> it got stuck in her. Okay. <laughs> Was that good? Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> there it is. No, she she found it. It was stuck on the bottom of her foot. And she's still chomping on it. Was that good? Was that good, Callie? Yeah. That was good. Mm. But as I said, it's candy, so you can't give her much. That was a whole day supply. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two of them, one earlier and one now, that's her daily supply, even though she'd want more, look how big she's getting, 
I know. You're getting big, girl. Yeah. You're getting to be a big girl. Very big girl. And she was just a little puppy when we brought her home. It's been about a month. And she, twice. yeah, she probably is twice as big as what she was. I don't know, maybe she lost that. Or she hopes she, there's another one under there. Huh. What was that? <laughs> no idea. A chunk of bark. Oh. Okay, this is day I don't really know <laughs> anymore. Been working on these for days, but I guess it doesn't matter as long as uh, I'm making headway. And today I'm going to be adding these blue green feathers to this blue one I'm working on. I got more to add, but uh, that's what I have so far. Okay, just wanted to show you this uh, step along the way. I put in my one of my metal leaves. As you can see, I uh, right there. I put the line through my rope. And now over here on this end, I'm getting ready to tie it up like this one. Okay, I did another row, just like the first. Um, just like right above the first. Now they're going to clank into the bells. And on top of this, I'll be doing another of my bowls upside down, right over top of them. Okay, it's threaded down through that, and now hanging over. Well, they'll need fixed. But hanging over them. My next thing is, I have this little butterfly thing. <laughs> Not sure what it does exactly, but uh, I'm gonna put this on there next. And I'm gonna use some of my aluminum wiring, gold painted aluminum wiring, to do that with. All right, I've come to a decision See these holy water bottles? I had planned on using a hot glue gun to keep them in here, but instead I, I want to seal that lid, so I'm thinking I'll use wax on it. That's more of a natural substance anyway. So, uh, got my candle, just gotta light it up and uh, drop some wax on it and we should be good to go. Okay, so here they are. That's my bottle of holy water. I sealed it with wax and I like it. There's the witch's bells with all my symbols and bells and everything. That's the one. Here's the other one. Here's the other one. There's the wax seal on it and there they are I know you all probably get tired of me bringing you out here all the time but uh, I like to show you what's what's happening what's going on what's blooming there's always something new and 
different. Every day I come out and there's something else in bloom for the first time. Now, we have all six of these orchids blooming at one time. And it is so beautiful. See, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pretty orchid flowers. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Mmm, it smells so good too. It smells a lot like, um, Hmm, lilac. But I know we don't have any blooming around here right now. Anyway, just keeping y'all updated. <laughs>